Okay, Assalamualaikum and good morning. So today we going to learn about uh, textbooks, the activities from textbooks for English language form one. Uh, we start from page thirteen to page uh, sixteen. So let's open your textbooks for page thirteen. So it's about an article about they they've got talent. So I will play an audio about this article and you will complete the missing words in each page. Unit 1. Vocabulary and listening. Skills and abilities. Exercise 2. They've got talent. Meet the contestants of tonight's show. Read their introductions. We're Kelly and Jamie and we dance together. I'm Ben, and this is my dog Shelly. She can do tricks. We're the Glamorgan Boys Choir. And we sing in Welsh and English. I'm Lara. I learned to play a musical instrument when I was five years old. I play the drums. I'm Zach. I'm a singer, and I also write songs. My name's Emma, and I tell jokes. I hope I can make you laugh. Okay, that's all for the audio for the uh, article for they, get, they Have Got Talent. So you will complete uh, these missing words in the Google form later. Okay, so for examples, if you listen carefully to the audio, okay, for the picture number one, we are Kelly and Jamie and we dance together. So the missing word is dance. So you just complete your Google form for question one. Yeah, for question one, uh, the answer should be dance. Okay, uh, I will play an audio. I will play an audio for question four. Listen to part of a TV talent show. Which contestants from exercise one are the judges taking to? So I will play the audio for you. Unit one Vocabulary and Listening. A TV talent show. Exercise four. Hi, Zach. Hi. Well, you've certainly got your own style of singing, which I like. But I think you need to work on your voice. It's not strong enough at the moment. Yes, I agree with Donna. That's a beautiful song. But at the moment, you aren't really expressing the feelings in it. Do you have singing lessons, Zach? Uh, no. Well, you should have some. We're not saying you haven't got talent. You have. But that's not enough on its own. So, this time, you aren't successful. But maybe in a few months' time, you'll be one of the winners. Don't give up and good luck. Uh, thanks. Well, Kelly and Jamie, that was a great performance. You move well and you look good together. Well done. Donna? Hmm, I agree. How many hours a week do you train, guys? Two hours a day from Monday to Friday. And more on Saturdays and Sundays. Well, it shows. Just one thing, though. Try to relax more when you're dancing. You looked very serious, as if you weren't enjoying yourselves. That's because we were nervous. OK. Fair enough. Anyway, congratulations. You go through to the next stage of the show. OK, 
Okay, that's the audio for 1.14 for question number 4. So, uh, there are two persons related here to the picture. Okay, which one is related to this audio? So, we have two persons here. So, we just mentioned, for example, I give you the answer for number 1. Uh, the first contestant should be Z. Okay, because he is a singer and also a writer, a song writer. So, Z should be the first person. Who is the second person? So, you just determine the, the second person and then answer the questions in the Google form. So, for question 5, listen again. Are the sentences true or false? Correct the false sentence. Says. Okay, uh, number one, the first contestant has a got has got a strong voice. Is it true or false? If the sentence is false, then you just make a correction for the sentence. Okay, so I give you the answer for the first one. The first contestant has got a uh, a strong voice the answer should be false okay the first contestant has not got a strong voice okay hasn't got a strong voice so that's the, the, the true sentence so please answer for question two three four five and six in the Google form uh, by listening to the audio just now. so for the next pages page 14 we will look to the text for the title with the title Four Things Day Out in the UK. As usual, you have to read this article, this text, and I will play the audio for you. For question two, read and listen to the text which attraction is scary. And very big so I will play the audio 1.15 unit 1 cultural awareness tourist attractions in the United Kingdom exercise 2 14 days out in the UK are you looking for something different to do this weekend we interviewed four teenagers at some unusual tourist attractions around the country. Blue Planet Aquarium If you're aged 8 to 15, like sharks and are good at swimming, this is the place for you. I always go swimming on Saturdays, but this weekend I'm not going to the sports centre. After a diving lesson at the aquarium, I'm going swimming with real sharks. The sharks aren't very big and they aren't dangerous. But your friends won't know that. Visiting the aquarium is quite expensive, but it's a good idea for a birthday present. Teen rating. Three smileys. Jack, 13, Stafford. Beamish, the Living Museum of the North. Beamish is a living museum. Instead of looking at old things, I'm actually experiencing life in the past. You can have a lesson at the village school, buy things in the old-fashioned shops, and learn how to cook traditional food. I usually hate museums, but Beamish is different. Teen rating, four smileys. Daisy, 14. Durham Magic Unicorn Theme Park Unicorns are magical animals from legends but this theme park isn't very magical the rides and roller coasters are okay but nothing special the only bit my friends and I like is the Magic Spell Academy where they teach you to do magic tricks we're not really enjoying our trip today. Teen rating. One smiley. Daniel. 14. Glasgow. 
giant swing adrenaline quarry. This isn't like swings you find in children's playgrounds. It's very high and really scary. I didn't think this would be so much fun, but it's better than a roller coaster. You feel as if you are flying. The only problem is that it doesn't last very long. Teen rating three smileys. Anna, fifteen, Cardiff. Okay, that is the audio for uh, the text or the article. Four teens day out in the UK. So let's answer the question three. So wish. Read the text again and answer the questions. Number one, which three attraction give you the chance to learn new skills? So you have to find out the hints that shows that the teenager, the teenage, the teenager learn new skills. Okay, for examples, the blue planet, okay, will give you the chances to learn new skills because based on the text, because it's the first time Jack swim with a shark, with a real shark. So that's a new experience. Okay, that's a new experience. Okay, after diving lesson at the aquarium, I'm going swimming with real shark. Real shark. Uh, in other words, but this weekend, I'm not going to the sports center. I always go swimming on Saturdays. But this weekend, I'm not going to the sports center. Okay, it means he, he will learn, he learn about the new lessons by swimming with a shark. So, to the next questions. Uh... Which place isn't suitable for young children? Okay, so try to find out the hints, the text. One of the one of them, one uh, one of the answers should be giant swing. Okay, we can look at this text. This isn't like swings you find in children's playgrounds. Means this. Uh, Giant swing is not it's not suitable for children. Okay, for question three, which two attraction are better than expected? Okay. okay, which two attraction are better than expected? So one of the answer should be Beamish the Living Museum of Not. Okay, Beamish the Living Museum of Not because. Because of the text, I usually hate museums, but Beamish is different. So it's quite different, means it's uh, beyond uh, her expectation. Okay. So for you find out the another, the another places that better than X. Method. For question four, which tourist, which tourist attraction is expensive? So it's quite easy. Just find out the words expensive in the stack in the text. Then it should be the answer. So for question four, answer the question about an interesting tourist attraction in country. In your country. Number one, what is the most popular attraction for teenager in your country? Okay, you can answer this question based on your knowledge, on your experience uh, while going for a holiday in Malaysia. Okay, so what is the most popular attraction for teenagers in your country? For example, I can say if I go back to uh, Johor, uh, there is a Lego land there for a very attractive uh, places to visit. Okay. So what can you do there? You just explain, elaborate what can you do, the activities that you can do in the uh, popular attraction, the place that you mentioned for question one. For example, you can 
play uh, it's a water park so you can play uh, very oh you can play a water park you can uh, swim you can play with a uh, uh, lego a lego uh, character and so on for question three do you think they are most interesting attraction in the UK or in your country okay based on your uh, based on your opinion either you like the UK uh, attraction or in our country Malaysia attraction so I leave it for you to answer all the questions in the Google form uh, you can answer in a proper sentence so then I can check your grammar we go to the next page, page 15 is about grammar. Present, simple and present continuous. For question 1, you have to study the table and choose the correct words to complete the rules. Present simple, I usually hate museums. Present continuous, we are enjoying this trip today. So, you have to answer for question 1a, we use the present simple to talk about Activities in progress or habit. Okay. If you look at this table, I usually hate museum. It's not a progress activities, but it's a habit. You hate or you love something. So it's a habit. So the answer should be habit. When we talk about habit, then we use present simples. We use the present continuous to talk about acti uh, activities in progress or habit. So the answer should be activities in progress. Something is in progress. Something that you are doing right now or at the moment. So we use present continuous. Okay. I am teaching you. So I am in the progress in teaching you English. So for question two, study the time words table and complete the sentences with the correct tense. Time words plus present tense. We use now at the moment today uh, so with these hints or with these time words we can guess it is a present continuous because it's happened now so we usually uh, we use always usually often sometimes never every day once a week month a year okay with the present simple okay we if you find uh, the words always, usually, or these words in your sentence means you have to use present simple. So look at the position of the time words and expression. Harry sometimes goes to the theme park. Okay, sometimes means you have to use the present simples either with S or without S. So Harry is a singular, so Harry goes to theme park. Harry is playing football at the moment at the moment is the time word shows that uh, it happened now it happens now so harry is playing it is happening now okay so harry is playing so for question three copy and complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs in bracket then write the time expression in the correct place for example in July, Joe go to the beach every weekend. So the time works is every weekend. So it's a habit. So you, use, you just use present simple. In July, Joe goes to the beach every weekend. Okay, let's go to the question one. Sam not go swimming on Monday. Usually. So the best usually is the habit. So you just use Sam does Sam doesn't or does not usually go swimming on Monday we play tennis at the moment at the moment shows it is happening right now so we use simple uh, pre uh, present continuous we are playing tennis at the moment so I left the question 3 Till 5 for you to find out the answer. For question 4, complete the dialogue with the present simple 
or present continuous form of the word in brackets. Then, hi kid, what you do? Hi kid, okay, is a uh, happening right now. So, what are you doing? Okay, because we are asking uh, the persons what is he doing right now. So, what are you doing? Kid, I go to the Chessington world of adventures. So, I am going to the Chessington world of adventures. You know what it's like, the question. So, do you know what it's like? Then, yeah, my brother and I go sometimes. So, oh, it's a habit. So, my brother and I go sometimes. It's amazing. So, I left for you to complete the dialogues and answer it in the Google form. For question 5, read and text, read the text and choose the correct answers. So, the correct answers should be in this uh, box. A, either A, B or C. For example, art, my favorite subject. So, art should be, is my favorite subject. So, the answer should be C. So, for you to answer this question, I just want you to give me the answer, either C, A, or B. Okay. So, for the next sentence, we all about famous artists from the past and present. So, we are learning, we learn. Or we learning so it's not about the it's not happening right now so we just use we learn the answer should be B we learn all about famous artists from the past and present so as usual I leave for you to answer all the questions in the Google form